first and foremost, um, you know, it's always hard to be the first to eliminate contestants. What would your be advice? You know, you've done this. That. Who likes that? No I don't one. like it. We don't take pleasure <laughs> in it. I'm sure nobody at home likes it. I'm sure I'll be hearing about it on my Twitter tonight. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, what would be your advice? I mean, you've done this now for this show for a while, and you've seen you know plenty of dancers come off the show that didn't win and do successful, you know, be successful. So, what would you say to those two that you know got sent home, Carlos and um, I call her Cherry, yeah. Brittany. Okay, <laughs> I love her last name, Brittany. What, what would you say to the two of them? You know, these two are going to pick themselves back up. They're great dancers, and they're you know they're mature dancers. So this was just a stepping stone for them. This is a great you know now millions of people have, yeah. know them. When they walk into an audition now too, bam, they're already well yeah. known. Hey, it's a great feat to make it this far and to be able to get to get to this platform, you know, and use it to your best ability. So at least now you know they'll probably even be able to switch up agents and everything. Everything else, yes. you know, everything's moving on up when you're a dancer and you make it onto the show. And they proved that they're professional. They came out there, they supported their partners, they didn't let their partners down, and they did amazing. No, you're right about that because somebody could have just like said, nope, you know what, I've changed my mind, I'm not coming back out, I don't feel like it right now, I don't feel like dancing. But you know, I think too, they, they all bonded so well. I don't think we'll ever see that this season because yeah. you know, they spent a great deal of time together and they're all having a blast together. And yeah, they all were bawling their eyes out when, yeah. when they lost two of their friends, but you know, they're all gonna be seeing each other and hopefully we're gonna get a tour too. And hopefully we're starting the wild card rumor yes well you know tonight was an, another amazing night what do you think though because now there's there's 18 dancers left that's a huge pack what do you think the dancers have to start doing to kind of like you know accelerate to the front of the pack to get the attention to get the votes what would your advice if you were one of their coaches and you you were sitting down and you're like all right you're going to go out next week what would your advice be to make sure that they're going to stand out and get those votes well i, I think that, that first of all they're in a they're in a tough spot because they really have no say in the music. They have no real say in the choreography. And uh, so they have to really trust in their choreographer as to what is going to be happening. And hey, even the music isn't approved sometimes yeah. for the, the choreographer. They A lot of times they have to choreograph the music they don't even like. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's one of the real challenges of the show, too. So, you know, after we get past that, you know, they just have to live in the moment and not concentrate on what it is. And I think. Christina gave a, you know, if you're not a trained dancer and you have to, if you're concentrating so much on a Sinead turn or a pirouette or something like that, throw it out, throw it out the window. Yeah. Throw it out the window. Go for the performance. We're going to love you if you do something balls out, yeah. even if it looks totally wrong. But if, as long as you're in that moment and don't worry about what it is you look like, people are going to love you for that. It's yeah. just, it's just the way we are. It's the way we're built, you know. Yeah, that might not look so good, but man. You can't say that you didn't lay it out on the line with all your heart. Absolutely. All right, you guys, that was great. If she was your coach, it would be amazing. That was an amazing advice from Judge Mary Murphy. Well, we love the red, and we're excited to see what you're wearing next week. All right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> all right, Mary Murphy here at So You Think You Could Dance, Season 10.